To draw a witch's cauldron, you'll need a pen and a pencil and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's begin by drawing an ellipse. And this will be the mouth and the rim of the bowl. And then draw another curve very similar to this bottom one here. And then just bring it around a little bit like that. And then that will be the level of the witch's brew inside. Now we need to draw the the, the pot, the, the belly of the pot. And uh, that's quite difficult getting that. So, you know, draw these little kind of chicken scratch pencil -y marks, but don't press too hard because you're going to need to erase these later. Now then draw two little triangles for feet and one there, which is sort of on the other side. And we're going to want to have handles. So draw two little handles like that. And then we're going to need to have a ring attached so that for the handles uh, to be attached. And then we're going to want to have bubbles. You can have some going over the line there and maybe some floating up in the sky too. This video is inspired by my new book, How to Draw Halloween Stuff Real Easy. It is packed with over 160 Halloween ideas. You can get the book from Amazon, ebook downloads from Amazon and Spring underneath this video. All the links and details are in the description box below. Now let's draw this line here first. So we're going to draw this nice curve coming around there. And then that can just sort of dot away into the distance. And then we can draw the whole of the rim. And then we're going to draw these bubbles as half <laughs> bubbles like that. And draw a couple or two or three actually over the line because that makes it look more realistic when we draw the lines that are coming behind it like that. And then we can have a few little bubbles going like that and maybe one or two that are bursting with sort of bursting with magicness like that. And then let's draw the body of the pot the belly and then the feet so they're just these little cast iron kind of triangles like that and then we're going to want these uh, handles of sort of like rings going around like that and then that will come through and we want similar there and we're going to want to have that to come around like that like that. When you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines and no one will know how you planned it and designed it. And then we're going to want a bit of shadow underneath here. So these are kind of longish, getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter like that. And we'll do the same around here. Long, 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 getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until they're just kind of dots like that. And um, we could maybe put a little bit of curve kind of shadow in there and maybe a bit in there as well like that. <laughs> Once you start drawing shading, it's very difficult to stop. So we're going to put some all the way around here. And when we get to about there, that's just going to kind of disappear. And here we're going to draw that again, sort of going down in a curve like that. We could maybe put a little bit in there and in there and just on that side, on either side there. And maybe just a little bit because they are rings and they're circular, we could do that too. And there you go, how to draw a witch's cauldron real easy. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.